this is simply the most fantastic Tyrannosaurus Rex toy out there, period. Everyone, here is Kevin, keep running, with an all new episode of Keep Runners Toys, as promised in the last episode. Now, for the first time in my all new den, where I was finally able to put all my toys on display from my dinosaurs over to my Lion King collection, my beloved uh, model horses, and my Disney dolls, and much, much more. And what would be more appropriate for this all new episode in my all new den uh, than an all new toy as well. So this toy that I'm going to feed you today is that new that I'm not even supposed to uh, own it yet. As you can see the uh, general uh, street sale day has been specified to April 17. 2022 and I am recording this video on March 31st so I'm about three weeks early but it is already available here in Switzerland through an online toy retailer and as you can see we are talking about the new Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal T-Rex here in the original shipping box from the Mattel factory in Vietnam and I'm going to unbox this right now. And ta-da! Here it is. Here is the most recent version of Mattel's Super Colossal T-Rex. And it looks like we have finally gotten a paint shop that is close to uh, Rexy as seen in the movie. The box features uh, some really nice artwork of Rexy and of course has the new uh, uh, Jurassic World Dominion logo. And I really admire the artwork on the front of the box. Uh, it's not only Rexy but it also shows a helicopter with a wind. And we can also see a roadside sign a T-Rex warning sign, so it's probably something that we will see in the upcoming movie as well. And you can see that um, the updated uh, version of this box hides, unfortunately, a lot more of the figure if you compare it to the, uh, one of the uh, earlier versions, you can see uh, this box is much more open and uh, shows a lot more of the T-Rex. So, whether to unbox or not is a pretty easy uh, answer. Of course, I'm going to unbox. But first we want to uh, discover the, uh, the rest of the box. Uh, here we more dinosaur artwork and the classic world Dominion logo again. And then on the back, uh, I can see the uh, entire figure with a gigantic bite. And it's supposed to uh, swallow up to 26 of the mini dinosaur figures, which will be available uh, this year too. I can see them here, a couple uh, photos of them on the back of the box. And for everyone of you uh, still hunting for this piece, here's the UPC code and Mattel's item number on the bottom of the box. And now without further ado, I am going to liberate Rexy from his cardboard tape and let him and and let her run free so we can take a good look on her. The unboxing is rather easy. Uh, kudos to Mattel. Um, removing the uh, twisty ties does not require the help of any tools, no scissors or anything. 
simply use your hands and when you're done with the unboxing then you will have three different parts in front of you the uh, main body the left leg and the tail remove them from the plastic bags and assemble them the instruction sheet is going to help you with that although it's pretty self-explanatory keep in mind that once you pop the uh, left leg into its position you will no longer be able to remove it unlike the tail with uh, simply uh, screws together and uh, in order to do that you will have to align the two arrows that you can see one is on the main body uh, locking mechanism and the other on the tail simply align them and then uh, screw the tail in place until it clicks and then there you have Lexi in her full glory wow look at that i mean it's just truly never been a better time to be a jurassic park fan or a dinosaur toy fan than nowadays with all these uh, fantastic mattel toys and this updated dominion version super colossal t-rex certainly is the big star of every uh, Jurassic toy collection and at first uh, from what I saw uh, when it was boxed I thought it is exactly the same mold no differences or anything except for the uh, paint scheme of course but this is not entirely true and in order to show you this I'm going to compare with the uh, first version of the Super Classic T-Rex if I have here and if I put these two right next to each other you can see one issue that they fixed on the updated version it is the tail finally Rexy has a nicely curved tail while the first version had a straight tail that was not entirely true to what we have seen uh, in the movie and also isn't really true to a real life T-Rex you can see the Dominion version has a nicely curved tail and this is so great it's only a little difference that actually makes a big difference when you uh, uh, use these figures as a display piece it looks uh, a lot more natural and uh, true to what we have seen uh, in the movies and let's take a closer look on the tail you can see it's basically still um, three components the end is a harder plastic than the middle section uh, feels like rubber and then where it connects to the main body it is a hard solid plastic again and look at this black smudges and everything that they added this is a nice upgrade to the uh, rather bland version of the uh, original uh, super colossal and then we start comparing the faces his faces right next to each other and you can see another difference uh, one change that I don't really like as much take a close look on the eyes especially the pupils the ones on the uh, original version of the super colossal are pointing forward uh, it's literally staring at you when you look at it from the front while the uh, updated dominion version has the pupils more in the middle of the eye so it's not as intimidating when you look at it from the front i mean it's great to have uh, two different versions of eyes but i definitely prefer the original version that has the pupils in the front and uh, like if it was hunting and staring down prey looks much more intimidating other than that 
uh, the head sculpt is uh, the very same. We can see the same level of detail, the same uh, battle scores and slower jaw, and the nostrils are there as well. I can see the uh, same level of detail uh, inside its jaw, inside the uh, upper jaw. I can see some uh, really nice uh, uh, structures. However, there is no structure on the tongue. Uh, this is an issue uh, I would hope they would have corrected. The teeth are still uh, of a rubbery type of material, so they are not dangerous for any uh, children's hands. Let's pan uh, further back across its body. The neck is still made uh, out of a uh, rubber component. And it transitions nicely to the uh, hard plastic of the main body. And then let's take a look at the arms and still the typical Mattel issue there. They did not paint the arm claws again on the updated version. I would have made them black if I was Mattel. So this issue has not been corrected. And that is a shame, really, for such a, an otherwise a great looking uh, updated figure. Take a look uh, across uh, its body, you can see uh, some uh, striping pattern uh, at the top, kind of like a tiger striping pattern. The uh, main body is actually a really uh, dark. Uh, gray, the stripes are kind of a uh, black that run across uh, all the way across its hips until where the uh, tail starts. Now let's look at the legs and feet. Same if you there, like on the uh, arm claws, the arm claws are not painted either. They are unpainted on the original version and they remain unpainted on the Dominion version. Uh, really, I don't understand that. Why, why couldn't they just use the same black that they uh, used for the uh, actual toe claws? Uh, really, it would not have been uh, such a... Uh, Huge effort, huge additional effort to uh, simply um, paint them as well. Even if it would have made the figure a little bit more expensive. Uh, otherwise, great sculpting, very same sculpting on the uh, legs and feet. Still with the issue that the uh, Feet are a little bit too large uh, in proportion to the main body, but this is in order for the figure to be able to stand. This is a really heavy figure weighing around uh, three kilograms. But these, it, these are massive figures and not really suitable for small children's hands. Also, I still think the uh, transition uh, in contrast, from the upper to the uh, lower jaw is still too strong. Uh, I would have chosen uh, basically uh, the, the very much same uh, shade of grey for the uh, uh, belly and the lower jaw, uh, kind of similar to um, the uh, Brachiosaurus, uh, which you can see uh, behind me. Now this doesn't look very natural. Even if that would have made it a little bit, uh, made it look a little bit more boring, I mean, it would have definitely been a bit more natural if the contrast wasn't that strong. But, uh, I mean, it's uh, still, it is a really, really big step forward uh, in the way that we finally have a paint scheme that looks pretty ac accurate to uh, Rexy. We have seen uh, in the movies. 
So I'd say uh, the updated version clearly is my favorite out of these uh, two. Let's take a quick look on the articulation. No surprises here. I really, I really like that you uh, can move the uh, upper and the lower jaw independently from each other. And both of the arms can go around 360 degrees, like this. And when we look at the feet, uh, even the updated version still has this rather weird joint that lets you uh, move the uh, feet in and outwards. Of which I'm sure that no real-life T-Rex was able to do this. I, I still don't see the point in having this uh, joint other than it uh, probably saves a bit of space uh, in packaging. The tail can move to the left and right, but not up and down, and it also goes further right than it goes left. And of course the knees are posable as well. They still click in place into uh, three different positions. You can uh, have to assume the hunting position like this. Open the mouth entirely like this. Now this looks awesome. And then you can have her in the uh, normal uh, walking stance. Uh, note that the uh, legs aren't exactly mirrored. These are two different molds, so it shows her in a uh, true walking position. If you display her like this, this is a great level of detail. Uh, really like that they went this effort. And the third position is the roaring position. Like this. Wow, this looks amazing. I mean, I know it is still the same like on the original uh, Super Colossal, but I'm still uh, impressed every time when I play with this toy, and it truly is my favorite. Uh, T-Rex toy ever, uh, just because of its size and the true Dan Winston face that we've got here. And now we finally have a Super Colossal with a pretty accurate uh, paint scheme. Regarding the size, it measures a gigantic 41 inches, 105 centimeters long, a little bit more than what, is, uh, what it says on the packaging where they say 40 inch and uh, 101 centimeters. Uh, it really is a bit longer. I have measured it. And it stands 33 centimeters tall at the hips. That is uh, 13 inches. So that's not really to scale with any of the uh, other uh, dinosaurs uh, and figures that Mattel offers, uh, except if you have. Uh, six inch tall human figures. This would be more or less uh, to scale, uh, reaching uh, up until about the uh, thumb claw on its, uh, on its uh, legs. Let's take a look at it again from the front. You see this excellent face sculpt that is movie accurate. Um, Hanging back across its body, and we do the same in the other direction, looking at the uh, tail from behind first and going all the way across until we reach her head. And I really like how this figure is put together. The joints aren't really visible, they did a great job of hiding them, yet there's still so much. Uh, possibility and articulation. You can see here, you can even uh, close the mouth completely, of course. Keep an eye out on, the, on this and more figures that will release for Jurassic World Dominion. The US retail price for these super colossal figures uh, will reportedly be at $64.99 and of course in Europe a little bit more expensive, actually quite a bit more expensive here in Switzerland where I've paid uh, $100 to get Rexy. 
we are also supposed to get two more uh, dinosaurs in the super colossal line. One is the Atrociraptor and the other is the Giganotosaurus which I may get, probably have to look at it uh, in a store in real life first. Uh, I'm not too impressed with the uh, paint scheme, would have preferred uh, for it to be uh, grey like Rexy as well, but uh, I may get weak and uh, get him anyway and add him to my uh, collection which you can see behind me with the uh, Trachiosaurus, the Apatosaurus, uh, the Super Colossal Rex of course and the Mosasaurus. I mean these are really uh, uh, simply the most fantastic, most accurate dinosaur toys, uh, at least the movie accurate that ever released and it really feels like back in the uh, 1990s when the uh, classic Jurassic toys which you can see to my far right here uh, were king of the toy aisles and it's so great to uh, relieve uh, this time again where dinosaurs really roam the toy stores. So look for this and much more Jurassic World Dominion toys hitting shelves by no later than April 17 in some markets you can already uh, buy quite a good selection as we speak and there will be more and more items added until the movie release in June and I'm really looking forward to that and until it's time to go to the movie theater I will uh, spend a lot of playtime with my now two super colossal T-Rexes and these go together really nicely they make for some really really gigantic dinosaur fights look at this, wow, awesome I wish we had uh, such huge dinosaur toys back when I was a child back in 1993 when the first movie uh, released so thank you so much for watching this episode of Kick One Toys with the more unfortunate end for Lexi and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!